so hello everyone this is karthik and now i'm going to discuss about multi track turing machine for n factorial so first what is a multi track turing machine it is a specific type type of multi track turing machine contain multiple tracks that means in a multi track turing machine a single tape is assumed to be divided into several tracks it has just one tape head that reads and write on all tracks here a single tape head reads n symbols for n tracks at one step it accepts recursively enumerable languages so now let us go to our problem here in this problem we are using turing machine with three tracks and steps to be followed are in track 1 will place a given input n and in track 2 will place a value as 1 and next step if 2 if t2 that means in track 2 if it is equal to n which n value which we given in track 1 then the result will be stored in track 3 otherwise if when t2 not equal to n then we have to increment the t2 with plus 1 and t3 in track 3 we have to perform multiplication with t here if we see here t3 into t2 and these steps should be pre, should be performed up to t1 equal to t2 mm -hmm. when it, when the t1 equal to t2 then the result will be stored on t3 as as i given the final diagram here but in next slide i'll show the each and every step so now here i have taken a n value as 5 so the final the final controller will head to the, uh, the first the first column where we see 511 which we have initialized next when we move to right Yet the track two will increment to one, and in track three, track three the result will be stored by performing the multiplication. Here one into two is two. So next, the head will be moved to right, and again the track two will be increment by one, and in track track three, by performing multiplication the result will be stored in track track three. So next. again the track 2 will be incremented by 1 and by performing multiplication the result will be stored in track 3 so finally here the track 2 is equal to the value we have taken so it will perform the final multiplication and store in track 3 here as per the steps we have discussed before here t2 is equal to t1 that is we have taken the value n value as 5 in track 2 the we have came up to the 5 and in track 1 the value is equal to the track 2 so the final result will be stored in track 3 which is 120 so the factorial of 5 is 120 now let us come to the finite automata for the problem which we have taken so at initial state will taking as 511 as input and without changing the input will move to right and the next state as q1 and from q1 here here we have phi v v the b which we considered as blank so in track 2 we have changing the b to 2 that is 1 is incremented to incremented to 2 and next b is changes to 2 which is 1 into 2 equal to 2 and moving to right and other state q2 from q2 which we have the again phi blank blank we are changing to first in track to blank we have changing to 
3 which will be incremented 2 to 3 and 2 into 3 as 6 so finally with incrementation and multiplication will change will come to q5 which is final state and the required solution here we'll see the transition table for the finite automata which we have constructed before so here we have the q0 q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 as states where the initial state is q0 and the final state is q5 q0 with 511 with input it's going to q1 and without changing it's it's moving to right next we'll arrive the five blank blank input q1 with five blank blank it's going to q2 and it's changing the input as 522 and moving right so as the as we increment and multiply repeatedly up to the condition which satisfies the finite automata we'll move to final state final finally we will get the final answer as 120 which is the factorial of, which is the value of factorial of 5 so thank you